There's lots of ponds scattered throughout Cape Cod, over 300 of them actually, and many of them are located in just places like this, you know, surrounded by beautiful trees. Very few houses around them. You'll find them if you look on Google Earth, and quite a few have nice little, you know, access trails like what we're on right here. Some of them have actual campgrounds that are near them. And a lot of these ponds, not the pond that we're fishing today, but a lot of these ponds have trout that are stocked by the state. So you can get largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, plenty of pickerel, sunfish, but you can also get rainbow trout, brook trout, brown trout, tiger trout, and there's even some salmon in some of the ponds. All right, you ready, Rosie? All right, we're here. This will be the first spot we try. Some nice cattails over here to the right. Hopefully there's some bass holding in those. All we're using today is a small little rapala. This particular lure is probably like 20, 30 years old. Just looks like a little shiner, a little minnow. Eight pound test. And with the rapple, I'm just gonna give it a little cast. Super, super simple. Just slowly reel it in. Pause every once in a while. Slowly reel, pause. Slowly reel. Maybe give it a couple little twitches. You can pretty much do whatever you want. You found something dead to roll in, didn't you? She loves rolling in anything dead. Dead fish, dead mice, whatever. She rolls in it and then it just absolutely stinks. All right, maybe right over by these cattails. There we go. There we go. No world record. Nice little largemouth. Here he goes. You know, it's not unusual to come across plenty of trash, whether you're fishing the beach or fishing any of the freshwater ponds on the Cape. You know, for the most part, the area, the people have done a really good job keeping all the resources clean, but it's inevitable that you're gonna come across some trash. So I always try to carry at least one item. Sometimes I'll bring a trash bag and just fill it up whenever I go fishing and that way we can leave all these beautiful fishing spots much cleaner than we found them. Nice fall foliage starting to come in. All the leaves are starting to change. Really pretty time of the year. All right. You can see we've got a pine tree that's fallen into the water here. Got some old lily pads. Plenty of branches right out there. Hopefully there's some bass hanging out, you know, by this submerged timber. Oh, I just had a nice hit. Oh, wow. Whatever that was, it was lightning fast. Come on, hit it again. Oh, there we go, what a hit. That was an awesome hit. Jeez. Nice little large mouth.
beautiful fish. Lots of fun. So we got one largemouth over by the cattails. We got another one right here by the submerged timber. We've got a few more little areas to check out. So Rosie and I are gonna hit up a few more spots and maybe we can find a different species or maybe even a bigger largemouth. I'm sure they're in here. Rosie, right here. Tricky little spot. Just make a couple quick casts here, see if anything's hanging out right by these lily pads. What a hit. Wow. Nice. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Nice little largemouth. He was hanging out right in the lily pads. Oh. All right. I think he got out just fine. Oh wow, this is a bigger fish. This is a bigger fish. Oh boy. Oh man. I'm gonna have to tighten up the drag. Oh, what a nice bass. Come on, get in here. Rosie, come here, you gotta wanna see this one. Come here. Nice, they're hanging out by the lily pads, pretty heavy. You wanna, you wanna smell this one? There you go, give him a kiss, good girl. Nice large mouth. Yeah, that's a good one right there. Wow, two casts, two fish. Oh, another one, another bass. Oh, no, oh. Oh man, three casts, three fish. Oh, that guy just popped off somehow. This pond is not heavily fished. So these bass, they don't see lures very often at all. Oh, another big one, another big one. Big one for me at least. Rosie, another one. Want to give this guy a smooch too? Come here. Want to give him a smooch? There you go. Good girl. All right, let's head to another new spot. Hit the trail again. All right, we'll try a new spot. You walked by it, Rosie. Right here, right here. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Definitely a little bit easier to fish here. Less stuff to get hung up on. Here's some evidence of somebody else fishing here. A little Berkeley power worm, back half of it. Yeah, this looks pretty good. There's probably gotta be some fish here.
Oh yeah. Oh, oh, jeez. He hit it and then I paused and he hit it again. Another nice little largemouth. Hold on, bud. I'll get you back in the water quick. Oh, come here. There you go. Nice little guy. trash looks like we got some insects on the surface of the water yeah this side of the pond there's a lot of bugs some sort of hatch going on lots of bugs over here on the surface So nice. What a nice and peaceful day. Oh, there we go. Oh, had another little large mouth. Say another hit. Find the lily pads, find the large mouse. That's the pattern for today. Let's see if we can hook another one. My first cast. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, they are just loving these lily pads. Nice little guy. Rosie, come here, I got something to show you. You got another one. Jeez, that hook wasn't coming out. A nice little largemouth. They love the lily pads today. They certainly do. Well, we had a pretty darn good fishing trip. Caught a bunch of largemouth bass. That rapala worked really, really good. Just casting it out slowly, retrieving it, letting it just wobble back and forth. Got some really nice largemouths. They were hanging out by the lily pads and they were biting really really good and this is really a nice nice change of pace from tuna fishing or striper fishing and freshwater fishing is only going to get better it'll be good from now through the winter right through March and April it'll carry us through the off season and before you know it it's got to be springtime and the stripers will be back along the beaches Good luck if you get out this week. As always, tight lines and take care.